Well, from tomorrow, I'm going to start my exercise routine that I haven't, I've got to be honest, I haven't done regular, what I call proper exercise for months now because of the rushing around. Obviously, I've walked to shops and gone for a walk on occasion and whatever, but I haven't done what I was doing, my power walks, if you recall, I was doing a year ago. And I'm going to get back into that now from tomorrow I've decided because I you know there's no doubt we're all putting on the pounds with this uh, thing we you know we just I mean I don't feel I'm eating anymore in terms of but I but I think I am or drinking too much I don't know or both probably so from tomorrow my routine is going to be um, five miles five mile power walk per day any what no matter what the weather is and then um, pick up my day from there. I'll still, what I'll do is I'll get up in the morning, check my correspondence first early, then go out, get a power walk done, get back for 10.30, have a shower and whatever, and then get into the, the day. So my, although my day may look like I'm starting late, I'm actually gonna be earlier starting, but I'm just getting that walk done. It takes me about, an hour just to walk, to get, walk down Poolsbrook, round Poolsbrook Lake, and then back up home again. Um, but yeah, it's been a little while since I've done it, so I've got to watch, I don't, uh, you know, have a, f have a heart attack on the halfway round or something like that. <laughs> Sorry, I've got to laugh at this. But yeah, no, I feel all right, no problem. Um, Sorry, that video I sent out yesterday, I mean, I know it, it came, may have came off a bit negative because of the uh, the issues I felt about the... I guess it, I'm not so much concerned people demonstrating about um, race, you know, the position on, 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 on you know, uh, Black Lives Matter. That Yes, of course, they, uh, that's fine. I have no problem with that at all. I had a problem with the fact that we were in lockdown or partial lockdown. The advice is still two metres from each other and no more than six in a crowd. And there was bloody thousands in, in, in uh, Parliament Square. Just just ignoring, you know, a, a ruling actually that the government had made, made very clear from a safety point of view. Now that, that crowd could probably cost us you know, another few, another few hundred lives at the end of it all, when it all rolls out. You know, people seem to think, well, if I go out, I don't worry, but I'm, I'm, I'm not worried about catching the virus. It's not so much that they've got to think of other people as well. They are spreading it. They're not just likely to catch it. They could carry it, spread it, and it gets into the wrong, it gets into the wrong systems, the wrong people, which causes major problem. And, you know, with over 40,000 lives already lost in the UK, I just think people need to wake up and, and, and take note of how serious this is. Um, and I still make the point, countries in the Southern Hemisphere that are still not having the, the sort of the, the pandemic we're having here in the UK, just be careful because until, you know, a cure is found, it's going to be a problem. Yeah, and I don't want to see, you don't want to be taken down by this, that's for sure. Here comes Mrs. Mathers. I can see her here now, hang on. There she is, looking very pleased with herself. The new supervisor, the new supervisor. 